Let's all just serve God to the best of our ability. Let's go home together. Let's forget all the little things that the, the little foxes will spoil the vine. It's the little things that we let creep in and tear us all apart. And we ought to lay aside ever weight in the sin that does so easily beset us. And let us continue to, to run the race with patience. Heavenly looking unto Jesus. He's the author. He's the finisher. He'll finish it all up. I promise you that. But what time we're here, let's just serve him. You know, I've heard so many people say that, that, well, I, I, I goofed up, or I did this, or I, I've, I've grown cold here, and this and that. All I know to tell them is get up and serve God. That's all I know to tell them. Stop it. Roll your sleeves up, brothers. There's a lot of work. Amen. 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 Amen.
Something within me. Something within me. That's holding the rain. That's holding the rain. Something within me. Something within me. I cannot explain. I cannot explain. Something within me. Something within me. That's holding the rain. That's holding the rain. And all I know. All I know. All I know, yeah. All I know. That something within. Well, something within. Well, I may go one morning. I may Me, I'm always worse. 
And I said, do you ever get worse when you sing? She said, nope. I said, really? She said, no, I've been trained. I've sung opera, even on Disney movies, oh. this and that. And she's traveled all over the world. And I said, really? And then she stopped. She said, no, sometimes I get hoarse. I said, when? She says, when I shout. <laughs> she said, my husband always makes fun. Says, well, didn't God teach you how to shout? <laughs> That's what she said to me. And I got a kick out of that. You ought to listen to her sing. It's amazing. I love hearing them. But I'm telling you, she blends right in. And it's, it's amazing. Sorry. You are there. I forgot to mention our communion is the first next month. Yes. So uh, we have church party Saturday and Sunday. You guys are welcome. And our communion is Saturday at 5 o'clock. Y'all have a yeah. train to go out on Friday night. Now, the one we're going to make the bread. We've got a lot of elections and we learned how to do that. And, uh, and now we've got, uh, we've got that little tradition down there where we can uh, uh, go out there and everybody come together homemade soup or chili or whatever these girls fixing and make the bread and sing songs and we met some good times. It is. It's a good place to go. So let's get out there to throw clients. Out there want to remember us at Hurricane Gap Baptist Church over at Lord and Kentucky. Meet every Sunday but the same. Come and be with us. It's two good people. I believe that the Lord has been here. I'm sure that them people are not going to let you off work. The Bible says there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one spirit. And we're all baptized into one body. Miles may separate us. Names over the door may separate us. There ain't going to be no separation up there. Come uh, see us at the Lexington Church. We're just uh, I-64, exit 87. Not this weekend, but the weekend after is our, our memorial meeting. And I think Brother Darrell and a few other brothers will call them. We'll have dinner afterwards. We'll love to see each and every one of them. We do not have church on the first. We go visit other churches on the first. We try to. <laughs> I can visit the Jane Shore Church, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Uh, we have church every Sunday, 10.30, every third Saturday at 6 o'clock. Next month's our communion meeting. We've got plenty of places for people to stay. Come be with us. These are all good places. Shiloh. Shiloh, Prairie Baptist, Melbourne, North Carolina. I was in 268. We meet every first, first third, and fourth on uh, Sunday. Glad to have you, and as mentioned earlier or yesterday, our association will be uh, October the 25th through the 27th. We're going to be able to come out be with us. We'd be happy to have you. If not, just please continue to pray for us. And may God will continue to bless. Amen. Uh, Mountain here, Fairly Baptist Church. Also part of the Shiloh Association. We meet every second Sunday. Let's try to visit. Let's try to visit each other. Let's let's visit. Be around each other. You know, I, I told you yesterday or the day before, I don't know which, that when we started this, it's it's called the Solid Rock Association of Old Time Baptists because we had old regulars, but then there was some uniteds and there was even some primitives. And so I thought, we don't want to just isolate ourselves. We want to bring people together. Yes. And so that's why we just called ourselves the, the Solid Rock of Old Time Baptists. And I got a phone call just after we set it all up, brought all these churches together. I got a phone call out of Michigan. And a brother told me, what are you doing? And I said, I don't know what. He says, you're not allowed to do that. I said, I'm not allowed to do what? He said, bring other denominations together. I said, I think God wants us to come together. If we can, if we can at all, let's do it. They've got the same constitution, article, faith, and quorum that we've got. But even more than that, they've got the same spirit that we've got. Let's hold on to that. And I'm telling you, we need that. He even told me. He said that he even saved me. I guess calling, talking to somebody, 
And they said, what are you doing messing with them old regulars? He said, why? He said, well, them old regulars don't believe in the predestination. And I told him, I was honest, I believe that God did preordain his gospel. He, he ordained his church from the beginning. He set it up. And you know what? You need to obey. You need to listen to that low, still voice. I believe God's calling. I believe he's working. But men need to listen to him. They need to obey. We can be stubborn. I can be stubborn. Still to this day, I can be stubborn. But what I want is if everybody would, as soon as we call this mission, let's just step outside. I'd like to get a picture of the whole congregation. I'd love to print that right in front of them. Everybody else, I'd love to have it. I've seen it in many churches. I've seen it even in restaurants around the areas, old churches, where they take pictures of everybody outside. They're all and gone. Wouldn't it be good to leave for our children, for our grandchildren, for our great grandchildren to see that at one time we can all come together in one mind with that spirit? That's what it's all about. Anything else before we call this mission? Brother Shad, we can call this mission, please. And as a blessing over the food. Dear Lord God, Father, one more time, dear God, that I come to you just to be as thankful as I possibly can, dear Lord. What a wonderful weekend we've had, dear God. And there's so many this morning, no doubt, that didn't even get out of their bed. They even attempt to go and serve you here today, dear God. I no doubt in my mind they turned on their TVs and seen the shape this world was in. But I wish all those cameras could have been here this morning, dear God. Because this is where love really took place here in this world today. And this nation needs this kind of love here this morning, dear God. Father, I ask that you bless the food that is prepared downstairs. And bless the hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And God, be with all of us as we depart here today, dear God. Keep us safe. And if this world stands, dear God, for another week, Allow us uh, just one more time to meet together, dear Lord, in your name, dear God, and reach out to this lost and dying world, dear God. Father, I hope that I've asked all of these things in a way that will be pleasing unto you. In your Son, Jesus' name I pray, and amen. 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 Well, you step right outside. We'll make sure we